Hello. Please relax. You are loved. Solfeggio. Magical healing sound or a frozen pizza? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't I don't do frozen pizza. But yeah, what's up with solfeggios? Here's the story. A um, long time ago, very, very long time ago, there's a lot of monks in the Catholic Church who um, was, were chanting these different notes um, that to me look very similar to Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, but they're not exactly the same. But like the note Mi is um, not short for miracle. And they believed that, uh, yeah, this was magical, miracle healing stuff that they were using. Now, in modern days, we've got some science that's starting to take a look at this to see if there's anything to it. And they're coming up with some evidence that uh, suggests, yes, there is. Um, that evidence right now is in dispute. But while they're arguing about it, uh, this is not in dispute is that listening to one tone, one constant tone like that, um, will help you with your relaxation, stimulate your immune system, um, slow down aging, uh, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Structure, function, chemistry of the brain improved, intelligence improved, memory, you know, all that stuff which is all good stuff. So whether or not it's a particular frequency that's, that's causing good stuff to happen is up for debate. But um, I'm going to go along with it for now because it doesn't cause any harm and it just causes good. Now for my own experience, I'm a fan of solfeggio frequencies. I've used them myself and from my own experience, yes, I found them to be very helpful. So. Um, that's what they're there for, is uh, they help calm your mind, and while we're doing this, of course, we've got the sleep hypnosis, and this isn't club on the head, sleep, no, hypnosis. I don't believe in that. I don't think that's mentally healthy to do that to people. Uh, but it is a kinder and gentler uh, way to kind of put you into an open and receptive state. And of course, there's going to be prompts in there, not just to have a warm, comfortable night's sleep, but to help you relax. There's also in there prompts to help you get your life on track, maybe heal your broken heart or sort out a situation. Or, uh, you know, there's, there's extra help in there in the prompts um, to, to help improve your state of mental health and your feelings of happiness and well-being. And altogether, I think solfeggios are a good idea. So if you're solfeggio curious, give it a try. Um, if on the first round you're not really noticing anything, this is uh, a kinder and gentler way. You might feel a little bit better right away. But it's like taking antidepressant pills. If you make it a regular habit um, to sort of take a solfeggio every day, or maybe one at bedtime, uh, you'll probably notice uh, over time that generally around your day, you're feeling happier, more healthful, more relaxed, and things are going a lot better for you. I hope it works for you. I know it certainly did for me and many, many other people. And uh, hey, you know, maybe those ancient monks knew something that uh, we forgot and have rediscovered, and that would be really nice to, to have those healing sound vibrations relaxing us and making us healthy. So relax, enjoy, have a great day. I'm looking over at this now to say, okay, how do I stop this? But I'm trying to look like I'm not doing it, but we know I give myself permission to be human or permission to be a blonde human. <laughs> so I, I don't have to be perfect. I can make little fumbles and mistakes and just laugh at them. And that's a lot easier than having to do everything right every, all the time or be horridly embarrassed. Okay, so here we go. Enjoy your solfeggio and a pizza too if that's what you're into. Have a great day. Love you more later.